Hello my soccer universe, what crazy two weekends it were in the Bundesliga. Uh, it's still, I was so tempted to do a video last weekend already because we had Bayern losing and Dortmund going on top. But it didn't work out with the scattering all that much because you know when we go to last games I like to focus on that. Uh, and now I decided to do the Austrian because we again went into a last game uh, but I do that in a separate video. And now we have to talk about the Bundesliga because uh, we had swap swap we are back at square one or are we? It's still a little bit close. It is just... Uh, it doesn't feel like a title race in Germany as much as of a title stumble. And Dortmund really had it, had it in front of them. Bayern did them the favor to completely crumble. They duly took the uh, lead then in the table with a very convincing performance, albeit in front of a home crowd. And I don't know what they did at Bochum. Yes. There were some extenuating circumstances with uh, the referee uh, missing at least one clear penalty, if not a hands penalty as well. Uh, but they had enough chances to win that one as well. And you hand it back to Bayern. It is it's just so maddening. Uh, I always said that Sevilla for me the most frustrating team. Uh, in Europe, uh, only league was because you know they're gonna win a Europa League potentially again, and they have won one recently. Dortmund have won squad, yeah, they won a, a German Cup, but honestly, yeah, it's frustrating, it's really, really, really frustrating. And uh, from my personal perspective, while I really would like Dortmund to win this title now because it's only between the two of them. I'm also tired that Dortmund is the only challenger. I want another team. And, you know, one of those that we said, even I proclaimed, I said, the one team that might break that uh, that chance. And we said this in the, um, uh, before the World Cup. Might be Eintracht Frankfurt. They're completely going sideways. Barely can win any anymore. My favorite coach, Glasner, who did such great things for Lask, uh, has completely... I don't want to say they have lost the plot, but I think it is. there's a lot of unrest within that team where it's not clear whether Klasner will uh, prolong his contract. Should they prolong the directive? There's a lot of um, infighting and the team seems completely done. And, and then well, we'll see. Their season might end uh, very soon. Um, however, we have two really good stories and you know the third team that i i wouldn't want to win uh, want, want to win the title is of course leipzig and those are the three teams that everyone thought but Le leipzig probably are in danger of not making a champions league this time time around with union berlin and freiburg and those are the two big stories this season and we have talked 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 about them uh at Na nauseam Union Berlin in the Champions League seems to be already very, very, very likely, and Freiburg also uh, seemingly getting the mo uh, a more consistent than what Leipzig will be. So all interesting. There also has been quite some movement, uh, quite quite some movement. There has been some movement on the bottom of the table, with Stuttgart actually finally uh, living up to the expected, kind of li living up to, to, to the expected goals, or, or at least not conceding stupid goals anymore and getting the points, getting a, a win. Now they're out, although uh, Hertha Berlin seem to be a goner at the moment, but Schalke could mount a comeback, and I would say that Augsburg and Hoffenheim are not quite in the clear yet. And if it really goes crazy, it might also be Bremen, although I think Bremen at this moment look rather secure. I would say let's go to the past weekend, which started with a 1-1 draw between Augsburg and Stuttgart. It was a relegation six-pointer with a draw. Doesn't really help anyone, doesn't hurt anyone. It was almost a predictable out outcome. Bochum uh, is also fighting against re re relegation, but were completely outclassed by Wolfsburg. A Wolfsburg team that only has a chance for European spots if either Leverkusen win the Europa League or um, the cup winner does not come from Frankfurt or Stuttgart. So that's what they're hoping for. Other, otherwise, they will not make it into Euro European spots. But they had actually, after a disastrous start, they're making a pretty good comeback. And it was very, very, very convincing, especially... Um, some of the goals in, in there are really nice stuff. Uh, Hertha 
put more trouble on um, uh, is, is, is put on the more, more trouble thanks to uh, Bremen going there I mean having a 4 nil in the 63rd and then they put uh, 2 back Hertha is fighting but it seems that just when you need it uh, um, but, uh, Bremen exactly and uh, namely Dux uh, in, in this game first half they just got the goals and Dux actually scored a hat trick uh, himself so uh, Hertha really looking now down and out and it's actually a disaster because they are the big team from, from, from Berlin but it's only on Berlin that actually gets stuff going then with also a convincing 3-1 win uh, of uh, Köln at Hoffenheim which kind of basically put all the relegation trouble for Köln aside but they're in a similar position as Bremen but I, I think they're also a much better, better team than uh, they are rumored to but the, um, the, then they look in the, in, in the table uh, but you know there's also a transfer ban coming potentially for them which might cause a whole, whole lot of trouble and then Bayern Munich at Mainz. This is the this was the headline grabber. Uh, an absolutely un, mm, unfathomable performance because Bayern were fully in control of of the game. Yes, they may have uh, they may have looked a little bit more convincing earlier, but they had a goal by Mane. This did this allowed for a fraction of sight and Mane does score the go ahead had goal full control. And then Ajok scores an equalizer in the 65th fifth minute, and all hell broke breaks loose. I think that the equalizer even uh, the goalie uh, Jan Sommer, who actually rate quite, but I think that uh, Bayern is getting to him a little bit. Um, it's also the, it did not lo look good. And then uh, a little bit later, Barrero makes it two to two one, and Martin three one, and Bayern just crumbled. There was no comeback coming. And this was the worrying thing that you really thought that Bayern is gone. I mean, Tuchel was saying that uh, the team is leggy and, and it's on. he was completely uh, lost for, for words. I, I saw an interview with Thomas Müller afterwards who was, you know, trying to put a nice face but more or less being rather annoyed again. Uh, he doesn't know what's hap 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 happening. There is no energy uh, in the Bayern dressing room. It just looks rather flat. And Mainz, who had, if you had said in the 6 6 minutes, Mainz is going in the middle. They had no business of winning about Bayern were in full control, but Bayern had completely crumbled. And that is worrying some, and that actually is basically everything that keeps the hope for a title race still alive because you know that Bayern is unstable this season. And they have to be, and they can be gut at. If Bayern win this title, I think the Bundesliga, uh, in terms of a competitive league, can really pack it in. It is time that they're gone. And Dortmund took care of that against the Frankfurt team, winning easily 4-0 with Bellingham and Marlon uh, really uh, running right. Adeyemi being back, it all low looked fine. Mats Hummels even got on the score. It was a very convincing performance by Dortmund. Taking the lead in the table. And that is something that you did not expect at that point. And, 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 and Dortmund fans were, uh, and, you know, football fans all, all over, unless you're Bayern fans and probably Schal Schalke fans, you were really, really happy that something is happening. It might be that the big bad Bayern lo uh, is, is losing. Uh, Schal uh, the joy for Dortmund was compounded with uh, uh, Gregoric, uh, Höhler and Ginter completely destroying Schalke 4-0 kind of you know this Freie, Freiburg team it might hold on to a Champions League spot and that for a small team like like Freiburg like for Union that would be that is actually where you have to find the joy in the Bundesliga Leverkusen also had a relatively easy win over Leipzig a Leipzig team where I don't know what to think of all of them Losek and Amiri with a penalty getting the two goals and then Union Berlin also going over uh, Gladbach and Gladbach seems to be this was a team that was not too long ago in the Champions League uh, this is a team that has to refine itself and I th you know the Marco Rosa they were great and uh, Hütter the last season was already they were a little bit in relegation trouble this season they're going uh, really not anywhere I think this is a team that has to completely reconstruct and rethink and maybe get rid of some players and um, be a little bit more daring but yeah, the next big headline, of course, is that Bochum and Dortmund played on Friday evening. And most of us expected after Bochum's horror show against Wolfsburg that this will be more. And also, I remember there was a cup game not too long ago where, where uh, Dortmund just went to Bochum and won that one. 
with a fight, but in the end won, 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 won deservedly. However, it was in the already in the fifth minute that Lucilla, with a, uh, admittedly a really good shot, gave uh, Bochum a one 0 lead. But just, uh, just just a minute later, it was Bellingham, uh, Alea, who just tap touched it to Ad Adeyemi, and it's one one. And you thought, yes, now it gets going. What then, uh, especially Adeyemi did, is miss chances left and right, where you really ask yourself why actually you need to put this in. But uh, it got then really, really ridiculous when Dortmund started missing chances, but then also the referee having a complete off day. Um, and I think it was around um, uh, around the 65th, save, 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 minute, minute when uh, I think Adeyemi was brought down in, in, in the box. So clearly, a stonewall penalty. There was no ball. He just goes through the player, uh, mows him down, and the referee doesn't even look, look at it on VAR. This was a clear-cut penalty, and then uh, very, very, very late on, there was a handball uh, that was followed then by a goal by Hummels that was um, offside. But uh, also a handball. I think this was for me a little bit more alright because it was within the fall on the other side. I could imagine uh, that this uh, cold could begin, but for me this was not as bad and not as glaring as that one foul on Adeyemi. And Dortmund were really agreed with that. They were actually quite irate on, on that. I mean, Edin Terzic even uh, says that after the game. He, uh, he apologized to the ref for all his emotion, but it cannot be that he's not even looking at the stuff. Make the decision then. This was what was done. It actually got an even so ugly that there were death threats to uh, Stegemann. Uh, so Dortmund actually toned down the, narr the narrative. They say it's not right. Um, we understand it's a human the, 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 the decision they want to write, but this is not a point uh, to go against the referee. But it's so galling because you had it right there. If you win this one, uh, you actually keep building on the momentum. Momentum lost. Definitely. And the title stumble, title stumble continues. Stumbling is also Frankfurt had already a 1 0 lucky uh, lead at home, and then Augsburg 1 1, and that's a relegation threat in Augsburg. Köln Freiburg was actually a really, really good, good game where Köln definitely had, uh, should have gotten more out of it. Köln also in a dark mood uh, because Captain Jonas Hector uh, announced his retirement, and that on the back of a potential uh, transfer ban that they are still trying to appeal. And uh, some other players not being renewed. It seems like there are some dark clouds over Köln uh, going. Köln had many chances. Probably would have deserved a little bit more out of that one. Uh, Rizzo Doan scores then the goal. Um, it, it was nicely played by Freiburg. But even uh, Coach Streichten said, yeah, we got the points. Uh, but Köln would have deserved more out of that. Uh, Leipzig get a win over Hoffenheim. But... Really, really rough win, I, got, I, 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 I gotta say. Stuttgart, a big win over Gladbach. Uh, had already the lead through Giresi, then a uh, vital penalty. The 78th gives them the equalizer. You think they're gonna drop pom points again, but then right on, on the other side, Itakura for Gladbach pulls a uh, player back, is sent off, and then uh, Koulibaly converts the penalty, giving Stuttgart a fully deserved and vital win in the hopes to survive this relegation battle. Uh, then we also Union Berlin against Leverkusen, a rather uneventful nil-nil draw. Schalke make another uh, may, may, make, make a big comeback in the last in, in the closing minutes. The 81st Vandenberg equalizes a Dux goal from the first half. Bremen actually could have settled that game uh, early on. Uh, or in the in the second half, there were the chances there, but they let Schalke run Vandenberg equalized and uh, Drexler a really nice move uh, in stoppage time makes it 2-1 Schalke and that just gives Schalke the chance and then on Sunday Bayern it was not good there were many whistles and jeers when it was nil nil at the halftime however they broke down uh, Hertha in the end Serge Gnabry goes through and then uh, Kingsley come on and it was kind of this relief from Bayern we got a win against the last place team which shows you still that Bayern is very very much in a bad state, however, um, they have the lead and they may build on that. And then Wolfsburg continued their great form. There's a reason why they're all the way up there with 3 0 over Mainz, the team that just had beaten Bayern. Just to put that into perspective. And so, one point separating. Bayern and Dortmund. Yes, it is closer than it was the last time we made the video because um, 
Bayern were losing and Dortmund were only dropping the points, it's still Bayern is in the lead and are still the favorites to win it all. Um, Union Berlin is now a rather solid 82% to make it into the Champions League and Freiburg and Leipzig are basically it's a 50-50 between those two. Lev Leverkusen will not make, make it. So uh, there's quite some clarity. Uh, as I said, Wolfsburg are hoping that none of Frankfurt or Stuttgart win the cup and also that maybe Leverkusen could win the Europa League. Uh, then uh, that would help them also to get in. Um, in the relegation fight, as I said, Hertha is gone. Schalke is still, I mean, it's only a point, but, um, you know, there's a visit to Bayern in there. There's also, it's a, uh, they have a rather rough remaining games. Bochum may seem uh, on the face of it um, be the team now that's going for re relegation, especially with Stuttgart uh, getting get a little bit out, out, out of it, uh, who ever since has Sebastian Hoeneß Ahead, taking over, they actually seem to have gotten the turnaround, but it's still four rounds to go. Um, I think it's between those two, but I really hope that Schalke could get in there as well. But le le let's see. Uh, Hoffenheim and uh, Hoffenheim is also not quite out of, out of it, and then there's Augsburg that's also still hanging around. Köln and Bremen, I think, should be safe. Um, which is again also reflected in the uh, in the expected standings that we see here. Um, we have in the midweek two cup games. The Tuesday game is definitely the more interesting one if you look at the table because it's Freiburg against Leipzig. Those are not only uh, it's not only a replay of the cup final from last season. It is also two teams that are fighting for potentially the last uh, Champions League spot. Um, and Freiburg definitely would want to get one over Leipzig. And then we have Stuttgart against Frankfurt. You have the feeling that whoever wins the Tuesday game will be the favorites in the final. When the draw was made, I thought that Frankfurt will make it to, to the final. But the way it is going at the moment, I think Stuttgart has a shot. Honestly, on the other side, Frankfurt is kind of a cup team. Last season they won the Europa League. It would not be beyond them to win this cup as well. And then I give you the two uh, next rounds, although I really, really uh, am thinking I will do a video in a week from now as well. There was quite some controversy with Bayer Leverkusen's game moved from Sunday to Friday. Kern not happy with that. Um, and kind of there was even at the press conf conference between uh, you know, uh, after the Köln Freiburg game, because uh, the, the was was a question to Christian Streich how he prepares in such a short time for uh, for the game against Leib Leipzig, and he said, "Well, we'll we'll already look on the way back, blah blah blah." And then uh, current trainer Baumgart kind of uh, said, "So you guys can do it on such short notice." Kind of a dig at Leverkusen, who of course did that because of the Europa League playing against Roma. I uh, just want to say Bremen are hosting Bayern, Dortmund hosting Wolfsburg, two rather rough games. We have also a relegation six-pointer between uh, Hertha and Stuttgart. And then uh, you see Schalke and Gladbach, which should then be two easy, easy-ish games for Bayern and Dortmund. That was it for me from the Bon Bon Bundesliga. Loads of things happening. As I said, now I'm planning to probably be a little bit more regular with the Bundesliga because it really goes into the nitty gritty there. Uh, let me know what you thought, thought about the action in Germany. Give me a thumbs up, enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.